Okay, I just got my Home Depot delivery of 13 20 foot 2x6s from my garage ceiling project. Let me show you why I'm doing this. Okay, everybody, please subscribe to the channel and hit that like button so I can continue to bring you more videos. Um, right now, we're looking at my 1944 attic on my garage that only has three ceiling joists that are made out of 2 by 4s and they're 18 feet long. And boy, are they sagging in the middle. Okay, so here's a bird's eye view look at the uh, ceiling joist. And like I said, they're 2 by 4s They're about 18 feet long. And look at that dip. You can clearly see that dip right in the middle. I mean, this is where the motor is for the garage, so there might be some sag there, but they did reinforce it, and it looks like I might have a damaged rafter up there as well. So something else i got to fix. But anyway, this has got to be fixed. So I'm going to be adding 2 by 6s like I did here. I already started the project right there. So as you can see, there's a lot more meat on a 2 by 6 than there is a 2 by 4 for that span it is going to be appropriate. And, of course, I'm going to put a lot more reinforcement on the new 2x6s as well. So let me show you just how much these old ceiling joists are sagging compared to the new ones I just installed. That's at least an inch and a half right there. To get these 20-foot 2x6s cut, I had to invest in some uh, saw horses, so I grabbed these adjustable rigid saw horses, only 60 bucks each at Home Depot. It worked out really well. Okay, so the first thing you got to do to get these uh, ceiling joists cut is you got to crown the boards. What that means is I need to look down the end and I need to find the high point. What side of that board is is got a curve in it, if there is one? If there is a curve, you want it to face upwards. So installing it in the garage, that means it's going to be installed facing the roof. So right now I'm about to mark it with an arrow, and I'm going to mark my length on there, which is 215 inches. The next step is to create a template, which I did here. What that means is I, I, I calculated the pitch of the roof, and uh, that's how the scribe came out on the template. So now I'm just going to put that on top of my new ceiling joist. I'm going to scribe it with the pencil there, and now I'm going to break out the skill saw and cut that piece off which will give me my correct pitch so it fits alongside the existing roof rafters. Now I got to measure my piece all the way out, 215 inches, and then I can make my final length cut. Okay, once again, we're going to use the template. Now on the opposite end of the 2x6 ceiling joist, and I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to line it up. I'm going to scribe with my pencil, and I'm going to cut my piece off. To get the ceiling joist in place, I had to open one side of the roof, as you can see there. Once I slid up one end of the joist, I then lifted up the other end, slid it into place, and then nailed it right to the existing rafter using my Milwaukee framing nailer, of course. Okay, so this next phase of getting these ceiling joists in place is a little more challenging. Because the garage door opener arm between the door and the motor uh, is in the way, I had to rest the joist on my patio cover and then pick it up and slide it across through the roof. Okay, so this is uh, kind of the tricky part because now I have to be in uh, one, two, three places at the same time to get all this done. So this took a while to do and it was a really hot day. So, But once I got the joist in place, I had to then nail it in. Of course, using my Milwaukee climbing nailer. And then one more into the plate for good luck. 
I got the rest of my joists cut. I only have a few more here to put in. This is just a slow process because you got to keep moving the ladder. I think I moved my ladder 50 times. It's a slow process because I'm doing it by myself, but it's okay because I like to work alone. But anyway, uh, good news is I only got one more. Okay, all I got to do now is cut out one more of the original ceiling joists. Uh, I saved this for last because this is the area where I'm going to be installing a pull-down staircase so I can have some attic storage in my garage. Oh yeah, you heard me correctly. I'm going to be installing a pull-down ladder access set of stairs so I can, uh, you know, utilize my storage area above. So I'm going to have a video on that coming soon, so make sure you look out for that one. Um, in the meantime, I just got to finish cutting out the rest of this old wood, and then I can start framing in the opening for the pull-down ladder. And then I will show you how to install the ladder on the next video. Now I'm cutting 2x6 blocking to place in between each joist. The blocking keeps the joists from twisting because they're so long. And it also helps stiffen up the ceiling framing system altogether. Okay, so now it's time for the comic relief section of the video. Uh, this is me, a ladder and a piece of OSB trying to work together, which ain't working out very well. Uh, I'm trying to get this OSB up into the attic area so I can lay it down as a storage platform. Uh, but there's a few problems here. Uh, number one, I'm too short. Number two, uh, the ceilings are like nine feet tall almost. And number three, that's a four by eight sheet. And I was really being optimistic that it would go up there, but it wouldn't. So I had to take it down and cut it the long way in half to get it in there. So yeah, don't try this at home. And, uh, Okay, so as you can see, I managed to get the uh, plywood up there after I cut it down. And now I'm installing the last step here, and that is adding legs between the roof rafters and the sailing joist I just installed. This is going to give a lot of stability to the uh, ceiling framing system. So now it's going to be supported from the walls and the actual rafters. Okay, so here's a little look at the finished product here. This is what the uh, attic storage looks like in the garage now. All the legs are in, the plywood's in. Please subscribe. Thank you. See you on the next one.